Okay, so now we are in a EQV. Eerie. Right, so we've done the EQC, which is the sort of plush SUV type car. We've then gone into the city car, so into the Smart for Two which I absolutely loved. I thought it was a brilliant little car. And now we are in the new, brand spanking new EQV. Now the EQV is for me, well, it's firstly, it's enormous. This is the long wheelbase, extended long wheelbase one, um, and it's massive. It is the most plush, van i have ever driven it's insane honestly it's got all the same modes as the um as the eqc so this is the eqv 300 it's got all the same modes. so it's got the d minus the d minus minus the d and the d plus my favorite mode is the d plus mode the d plus mode makes a lot of sense to me because no regen braking <laughs> which kind of defeats the object but I like the fact that I've not got any foot on the accelerator or the brake or anything now, and it is just coasting. So it's as if someone has just knocked it into neutral and it coasts along. I quite like that. It means it doesn't make me feel sick. Now, as I say, I think you get used to it. This car, I mean, yeah, this is gonna be sold to very, very wealthy taxi companies or taxi drivers that want to take their extremely wealthy clients driving all over the all over the country or shuttling them from their G5 jet at Farnborough Airport back to their enormous house in Wentworth. That is the sort of person that is going to be driving one of these. It is refined. It is beautifully refined. It's got all of the same gadgets and gizmos that you find on an S class or an E class on a van. It's got 3,000 litres of boot capacity without any, without any seats in the back. I mean, it's madness. It does feel heavy. The throttle response is long and you have to be quite deliberate with it. But the sort of person that's going to be a passenger in this car doesn't want to be made to feel sick. Now, the servo assistance on the brakes is far, far sharper in this car than it was in the EQC, which is obviously due to the fact that this is enormous and weighs a lot and added to the fact that it has all the batteries in the floor mean that it is you know it's a heavy old girl this but i mean i'm driving it like a normal person would drive a car and it's plenty powerful enough plenty powerful enough forget all the other vans that are out there forget them i mean this is this is in a different league when it comes to actually getting on with your life this is you know it's quiet as you can hear it's lovely 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 i think that the two of the cars that i've driven today that have made most sense for me at the moment is the smart for two and this car the electric game is is ready for these sort of cars this car i would say though is eighty thousand pounds now, £80,000 for a van slash minibus is an awful lot of money. Now, it is an awful lot of money, but I can imagine P. Diddley or one of those people, Jay-Z and J-Lo or whoever he's married to, Beyonce, whoever it is, I can imagine him getting out of one of these at the, you know, at the awards ceremonies that they go to but will they want to get out one of these or will they want to get out of a G-Wagon? You know, people are starting to really take notice of saving the planet. And I think this is the sort of car that those celebrities are going to be seen in. It's amazingly quick. I mean, we're doing 60 miles an hour now. It's quiet. There's only ever tyre noise in these. Yeah, it's mega impressive. All of the interior, the steering wheel, everything, the touch points, as I like to talk about, as you know, they are expensive feeling. They are worthy of the £80,000 price tag. 
The steering wheel is the last generation version of it, which I find a bit odd for a brand new car, but you know, they probably had some left on the shelf or something. Now we've got the same problem with the EQV as we did with the EQC. The driving modes, I understand that they're for regenerating, braking, you know, kinetic energy, etc., etc. I understand that, but the way they do it is, you know, it's honestly it's vomit worthy. I, I can't, I can't, I can't hack it. You do drive this like a, like a taxi driver though. Very ten to two, yeah, very proper, prim and proper. I'd like leather seats for eighty grand. I am looking forward to trying out a Mercedes-Benz S-Class when that comes out. I believe that's going to be the next one, the EQS. And I think that, because you're wanting silence and wafting ability, I think that's going to be a really interesting proposition. I think an E-Class, if you're not looking to go everywhere like your hair's on fire, then the E-Class and the S-Class are going to be the two that I think are going to sell in droves and you know because the man that buys one of those has a few quid I think that's that's going to be more interesting for me this don't get me wrong very very good and I can you know obviously I can't tell you what the range is going to be in the real world because I've only got to drive it for you know a quarter of a day um, but it's yeah I'm, I'm very impressed with with all of what I've seen today in the electric range of Mercedes as long as the ranges are acceptable and it is the infrastructure thing for me with mercedes-benz you can get this charge me or me charge or whatever it's called and they you just get one app you go to any charging point or any fast charging point you plug in your car it charges you to that and at the end of every month it charges you back to it it's very very easy it's very very simple the problem with a lot of the charging points these days is you have to have about 75 different apps to go to the 75 different companies that give them out to you this one is all made easy for you by mercedes i think that is a winning formula and everyone should get on board with that all the controls everything easy all very very mercedes as with everything it's super familiar yeah it's um it's a it's a good it's a good car it's a good car. It rides beautifully. It's very, very clever. And I am excited about what is to come with this technology because we all have to be. If you haven't already, guys, go and subscribe, ring the little bell. You know, it really, really helps us out, as I always say. And, you know, I can go out and make loads more of these films and hopefully you like them all.